Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Sunday, <laughs> um, December 12th, and I wanted to share with you my two newest moving stitch squares. I only got one more to go, and I already know what I'm going to do for it. I just have to sit down and do it. So, X, I picked X-Men because I, I picked an easy X <laughs> uh, movie, and I've seen that movie a gajillion times, and I went super simple. I just made an X. <laughs> kind of cheaped out I guess but I don't know what it means so I'll just use some scrap yarn this is the same square I've been using which is called the simple says it best square it's free Ravelry download it's really not square I like it it's a six inch square uh I'm not sure what these colors are it's like charcoal maybe and another one they're red heart uh scraps but they were in ball form so I, I have no idea what they were <laughs> but I didn't use pattern for the eggs I just made some straight lines and sewed them on there so it's a really simple x one I know but uh, the next one, why, is I picked the movie Yes Man, which is a Jim Carrey movie. It's real funny. Um, movie me and Devin love Jim Carrey. We watch him all the time. But in it, I was going to make a scooter because he rides a scooter in a lot of the movie, and it's funny. But uh, I couldn't find a good scooter applique, and I didn't want to try to make up one. So then I uh, thought camera because they do, and there's a scene in it where he joins an exercise slash photography class <laughs> where they jog and then take pictures <laughs> which is funny but uh so I made a camera and this applique I didn't use a pattern for I just made something that looks like a camera and it looks like a camera to me <laughs> but I used um this is another scrap yarn I'm not sure what color it is it was just wound in a ball but it's like a bluey teal color I was going for sky but um I didn't have any like sky blue scraps so I just went with the next best thing I sold that on there very crooked <laughs> that's okay and this is that same gray from the x and then just black and I just made like a rectangle and then put gray at the top and then I made a black circle and put gray around it so it looked like the lens. I think it looks cute. <laughs> so now I only got one more square to make and it's going to be for Zootopia, the, the cartoon movie. And I already know exactly what I'm going to do. I already found the applique pattern I'm going to put on it and um, I already know all the colors I'm going to use. I just have to sit down and do it. I was going to do it yesterday but uh, after we went to the parade. I came home and took a nap on the couch <laughs> by accident. I didn't mean to fall asleep, but it was nice and it felt good. And then by the time I woke up, we had just a little bit of time before it was bedtime. So we went to bed. <laughs> I slept really good last night. I was tired, but uh, so I'm excited. I'm almost done with this one. So after I get the squares done, I will be uh, connecting them together. And I'm not going to do them in order, like alphabetical order. I'm just going to lay them out, try to get the colors, you know, spread out pretty good. So there's not a bunch of dark ones and colorful ones right beside each other. And then I'm going to connect them all probably with single crochet to them together because it's easiest way to do it. And then um, I don't know if I'm going to do border or not. I might wait to do border because I do want to line the back of this blanket with uh, fleece or flannel, just whichever <laughs> I like at the time. I want to try to find like a movie themed print at Joann's. So I might have to go to Joann's. I think there are flannels on sale right now. I don't know. The 11th is when I ended, I think. Anyways, they usually have pretty good fabric deals. Uh, I want to try to find like a movie theme for this and I want to go ahead and get a Christmas print of fleece for my Christmas blanket. Um, go ahead and purchase it because it's probably not going to be done as soon as this one. But that way I can record how I do it for you guys because a lot of you people have asked how I uh, line my blankets. And it's pretty easy. Uh, I do it the same way Mikey at the Crochet Crowd does. That's where I learned how to do it. But I will still try to show you guys. It's not going to be a professional tutorial at all. Because I'm really bad at filming tutorials. But I will try my hardest to do a decent job. But I'm so excited. So I'm going to try to sit down here in a little bit. And finish up that last square. And then I'll probably go ahead and start connecting them together. So in my next movie and stitch um, video. You should be seeing the Z square. And hopefully some of these connected together. Potentially all of them. If I sit down and just do it. <laughs> and then... Uh, after I line it, I'll probably put a border around that. That's why I did my Halloween blanket. I lined it together and then did a little border just around that. And, uh, yeah. So that's probably what I'm going to do, I think. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and get this edited and up for you guys. Oops, my camera's upside down. And, um, yeah. So let's see here. I was going to do a Don't Catch Your Name episode today. But I didn't do any video yesterday other than a vlog. Because I was tired. <laughs> I fell asleep. <laughs> but, um, so I'll, I know Kitchen Name episode will be coming up pretty soon. I got a lot of finished objects to show you guys. A lot of squares. Because <laughs> I did make some of my squares for the uh, Christmas blanket the other day when I was watching TV in bed. When I was relaxing and when Jesse was gone. And, yeah. So, tomorrow's Monday. Things are going to, you know, 
start back to normal. Jesse goes to school uh, Monday through Thursday and only two hours on Friday and then he's home for two weeks but he's already said that he wants to go to Granny's house for five or six days. And I told him he could as long as it's not Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. He has to be home for those days but um, Granny wants to see him and Paul loves him to death. Uh, he's spoiled rotten to his Paul and um, Jesse loves them to death, so I'm fine with them going, him going there. It gives me a little bit of a break. <laughs> and, uh, but anyways, I'm going to hop off here. This isn't a vlog. <laughs> I'll talk more in my vlog, of course, because I always do. I'll see you guys in the next Moving Stitch Square, which will hopefully be, or the Moving Stitch video, will be, hopefully be the last one I'll be done until I'm showing, like, the finished entire blanket. So, hopefully I can get it done. <laughs> I, I'm getting there. <laughs> Bye, guys.